Hey y'all, what's going on? It's your man Big Tiger in the building. So it's a it's official, right? It's official like a referee with a whistle. Colorado is moving to the Big 12. Now, from what I understand, Colorado used to be in the Big 12 back in the day. And they used to be rivals with Oklahoma and Texas and all that kind of stuff. But now, uh, for whatever reason, you know, things happen. Now they're going back. To me, Colorado, uh, they they was best of both worlds. They could have stayed or they could have went. Either way, they was going to be on top because they're going to have premium talent, premium coaches. I think they're going to dominate any conference that they go to. Now, by making the move to the, uh, the Big 12, It's, it's what's so crazy about it is Colorado is finna be, become the America's like the mega team that the Dallas Cowboys of college football. How you got Jerry Jones, he's a visible owner. Deion Sanders is the same way. Jerry Jones is a polarizing owner. Deion Sanders is a polarizing coach. Deion is gonna pull players from everywhere all around the country. They're on the West Coast. They're going to play games on the East Coast. They're going to play games in Central, Midwest, Texas. They're going to have fans from every, every corner of the U.S. They're even going to have fans in other countries because you got players on this team from other countries. It's going to become like the, the biggest show in town every time Colorado show up. Bigger than Alabama. Think about it. Alabama is known for kicking butt. But Alabama is not a show. The Georgia Bulldogs is known for defense and run game. The Georgia Bulldogs is not a show. But what Prime is about to do with Colorado, it's going to be crazy. So, uh, with the coaches he have on his staff and the top players, he might get the best corner again. Think about if you have next, if he get this next corner, he's going to have, and I'm not no down play to the other corners on the team. I'm just saying, like, ranking. He's going to have the top three corners to come out back to back to back that's <laughs> you know what kind of field day the defensive ends and d-lines are gonna have when you can't get a wide receiver open when you got three of the best corners to lock down man you better stop playing now so i'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen this is what's gonna happen the corners that go to colorado either they're gonna be diamonds or they're gonna be busts you won't even have to wait for, for the NFL. You won't even have to wait. You will know right now because the one that, that's the weak link will get picked on all game long because the other two will be studs. Understand, <laughs> out of three, he's going to get he's gonna get two studs. And he might get three studs, especially with his training. and <laughs> But with the wide receiver play, the quarterback play, the running back play, it's about to be fire in the city. So uh, I can't wait, people. I ain't going to lie. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Uh, this is a great move. I feel like the talent is a little weaker in the country right now, but it's more spread out. So you want eyes. At the end of the day, you want more people looking at your games because you get more fans that way, more sales, more money, more money, more hype things are going to happen. And it's going to be all the way live.